Salutations to all of you. In this video, we are going to see the secrets of time management. As you all are aware, many of the people are not in a position to manage their time. And what is time? It's nothing but life. And what is life? It's nothing but time. So what happens is your life is determined based on the time what you spend for a particular thing. For example, if you want to become an advocate, then you need to spend time on things which would make you an advocate. Or if you want to become a painter, then you need to spend time on painting. If you want to become a sportsman, you need to spend time on the sports in which you are interested. So that determines what your life is going to be. And there are plenty of time killers which take your time away from you so that you can't focus and you cannot spend time on the very crucial target which you're planning to achieve. So this video is going to teach you the secrets of this time management and the ways in which you can kill all these time killers and how you can utilize your time for betterment of your life. And this video would immensely help the people who are pursuing a professional course or a judicial exam or a competitive exam. And for the sake of brevity or to reduce the length of the video, this video will be published in three parts so that it's easy for you to listen and understand what I'm trying to convey. You need to be aware of the time killers because they are the aspects which drain your time into things which are unproductive. And in this video, we're going to discuss how we are going to solve the problems and overcome all these hurdles and succeed in any competitive exam we take. And it is very important that you need to know the solutions as well. The first one is unwanted screen time. If you would see, we would be spending time on social media. For example, WhatsApp, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, Instagram, whatever it may be. So what happens is majority of our conversation, majority of our video, or majority of screen viewing time is unconstructive, which is away from your target. And the next one is television serials or web series or a particular channel or program which are practically unconnected to your studies or your target. And there are plenty of people who play games continuously using their smartphones or maybe gaming gadgets or their laptops or computers. So in all these situations, your time is getting drained. In addition to this, you would be spending time on watching videos which are absolutely unwanted or to say which are absolutely unconnected to your target or your goal. So how to overcome all these problems and how to reduce your screen time? The first thing and the best thing you can do is just switch off the electronic device which is taking away your time. Word is not going to come down just because you have switched off your mobile or your gadgets for a few hours and that few hours is going to make a change in your life. And if it is a mobile phone, you can switch it to airplane mode, provided you don't have a Wi-Fi. Particularly if you are addicted to playing online video games. This will ensure that you don't go online and play video games. And the next thing is, if you are addicted to a particular serial or a movie or any other games, you ensure that you do all these things. For example, watching a serial or a movie or playing games, let it be in a place where you'll get frequently disturbed by others. For example, if imagine your TV is in the hall and if you're watching a movie or a particular serial, so what happens is your parents come and scold you saying that why are you watching this TV or why are you watching this serial or a movie? They could scold you due to which you'll get disturbed in watching the serial or the movie or playing games. So naturally, your mind will say like, okay, let me go and study. They are not letting me watch this. So this is a way in which you can reduce the screen time. And there are some other options as well to reduce your screen time. When you find people who spend less time on screen, try to associate with them so that they start influencing you. Your mind gets acquainted with the fact that you should spend less time on screen. 
Next is never take your gadgets to your study room or study table or the place where you study, wherever it may be. So what happens is you create a mindset which says that if I'm going to study room, it means I'm going to study. I'm not going to use any gadgets inside that place or in, in that place. The next aspect is if you still feel that you cannot control yourself completely, maybe in the beginning stages this happens. You won't be in a position to control it just like that. So what you can do is you can reduce your screen time by restricting the hours. For example, you can say to yourself that I'll be watching a movie or playing a game or whatever it may be. I'll be watching the screen for say one hour and you need to ensure that you do it only for that one hour and you don't extend it at any cost. Then there is another factor which is also a time killer. Friends are people who are in relationship with you. So if there is a friend or a lover who are not even remotely connected with your target or your goal, they are in no way connected to the goal or the subject in which you are focusing or the target in which you are focusing, it is quite natural that they won't encourage or appreciate or motivate you in that particular target or help you in achieving that target. On the contrary, what they will try to do is they'll pressurize you they'll ensure that you venture into a subject in which they have their acquaintance. And uh, this will take you away from your goal. And next thing is, there are people who seek continuous pampering or attention, who always drain your time. And in this case, you need to show to them that your attention is always for them. You need to keep on pampering them. What happens is this process drains your time. and uh, there could be a friend or a lover who is absolutely aimless. So what they'll try to do is, they'll try to discourage you. They'll try to say that what is the point in having the same? There is so much of competition, they can't come up. They could even discourage you and they'll make you aimless. And as a result, the time you spend will get distorted or it won't be in a focused way. And there are some practical solutions to save yourself or to save your time from such friend or lover. First option is you better avoid such a friend or lover and if you cannot do it and if it is unavoidable, try to escape from them in a tactical way. For example, you can say if it is a lover, you can say like I need to go and meet my mom or I need to go and meet my professor or it could be any reason. You could say and you can try to escape from them or if it is a friend, you can say like no, I need to go and meet my uh, parents or I need to help my relatives. You can give any reason and try to escape from them in a tactical way so that the relationship doesn't get spoiled. And the next thing is, if you cannot escape from them and uh, you are not in a position to do it as well, then you can ensure that they are engaged in the work of their choice. If a person is interested in painting, you can say like, okay, okay, you can just go and do some painting. I'll be happy to watch you painting. You can encourage them in doing a work of their choice so that you gain some precious time for yourself. Then alternatively, if that also cannot be done, then what you can do is, you can ensure that a friend or a lover speaks with the other person who are interested in them. For example, we can say like if there is a friend, you can connect this friend to another friend who has a like mind. Then you can save some time on this and you can escape from the situation and you can use your time for your own purpose. And if it is a lover, you can ensure that that person is engaged with her siblings, maybe a brother or a sister, or they can get engaged with their parents or their relatives or with any other friend of their choice where they can spend time peacefully and that would give you an opportunity to retain your time for your constructive goals. And don't forget to subscribe and press the thumbs up button. Do press the bell icon and click all so that any video which is posted in this channel reaches you faster. And by sharing this video, you're helping others. Do share this video for your friends and the people who are in need. By this, you can contribute for a better learned society. And I really thank you all for increasing your support regularly.